Welcome once again to Beauty Beneath the Surface. This is Carmen, and I want to take time to give you this little message, some things that came to me. I'm actually doing a new approach. I want it to uh, leave me more spontaneous. This message is for someone. And the message is about painting your own white picket fence. Today, as I was going through the neighborhood, I noticed that there were strategically placed fences and a lot of them in different places. And they were white and they were picket fences. You know how we use that term, you know. And actually, the term has been used in reflection to a destination. But actually, all of us are responsible to the choices that we make that shape our own destiny. We literally have the ability to paint our lives with the colors that we choose and place different things in the areas that we see fit. I know that there are so many teachings out there that have us and have uh, misinformed us where we are actually waiting for an event. We are waiting for a situation. We are waiting for recognition. We're waiting for the go ahead. We're waiting for somebody else to give us permission or we're waiting for someone to create an opportunity for us to paint that term actually refers to the idea life some areas where we can take full responsibility is focusing on oneself centering our own thoughts and creating our own reality this is not to say that you know we're not taking God out of any equation not by the least but what I am saying is that we are co-creators with God God gave us even the ability to speak a thing into existence to create a thing even with our minds our minds have to be renewed reset and reprogrammed a lot of times I want to start with self-care this is something that we've heard about we know about many of us are caregivers Many of us have had different responsibilities, maybe even from young ages. And we literally do not know how to stop, slow down, and focus on the things that will bring you nourishment. Whether it's health, whether it's wealth, whatever. And wealth, let's say that wealth, you know, wealth is not necessarily uh, uh, monetized, okay? Wealth can mean different things to different people. But if you don't, if you if you take all of your time all and expend all of the energy and all of your breath that God is actually giving you while you're here on this earth, running behind other people, putting out emotional fires, catering to other people's needs, where does that leave you time to figure out what you're really supposed to be doing? What you really like. You know, the things that, that, that inspire you. Another question I have and I'm posing is, if you're busy shining light in other people's eyes and correcting other people's situations, when are you going to have time to think of the areas that you need to heal in, that you need to be enlightened in? Do you see what I'm saying? 
So it has to be a commitment. It has to be a concerted commitment to self. Take time to recharge. That time may only be like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Maybe even 30 minutes if you're into going to the gym. You know, and I guarantee you, when you do those things, you feel so much better because you actually know that you're keeping a commitment to yourself. See, it's easy to keep a commitment to job, school, family, but how many of us will break a commitment to ourselves in a New York minute? So, okay, so we've talked about, you know, taking time to recharge, committing to oneself. And not putting out others' fires, whatever whatever nature it might be. Another thing is we forgive others quick more quickly than we will forgive ourselves. So if there are some areas where you need to forgive yourself or we need to forgive ourselves, we have to do it and and let it go. You know, if there is even areas, this is another thing where maybe some disappointment has occurred. Have you ever noticed that it's easier to just keep walking and moving and and reacting like everything is okay? You have to allow yourself sometimes to feel and know that it's not okay. Maybe it's not okay how somebody treated you. Maybe it maybe even wasn't okay how you treated someone else. But being realistic and allowing yourself to feel. And also being true to yourself. There is no amount of money There is no group or organization that is going to be able to prop you up. If you do not believe in yourself, first of all, and if you are not true to yourself. So, you know, be true to yourself. Be true about what you want. Be true. And and, and some of us, you know... uh, are so busy you know we 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 have been giving different roles in life or I'm trying to look for the proper term but you know what I'm saying it's like we have been put in the spot like okay well you're the strong one and we you know and then we take on that form whether we are really strong or not and we do not allow ourselves to hey be like hey that hurt you know that hurt I was disappointed in that And so that's where self-honesty, you know, comes in. The worst deception is self-deception. So this is just me coming in. This message is for someone or someones. Remember that you are the only person that's going to be able to give you that ideal life. The areas, let me clarify, that we can handle. Let's handle them. If you have an idea and you can conceive in it and you believe in it, it can definitely happen for you. That is your state of mind. That is your state of health. That is your state of being. Remember that we all have the ability to create our own white picket fences. This is Carmen, and I look forward to talking to you on the next message from Beauty Beneath the Surface.